you know, I was sitting there and I was listening to the testimonies of all of you young men and young ladies that gave such sweet testimonies of your life and the things that you've been through, the things that you've learned, you know, what you have experienced in your life. And all I could hear in my spirit was, this is good news. And in our world, in our nation today, we need good news, don't we? And every name, John and Kayla and all of you who gave testimony, you gave us good news. Anthony, Caleb, John, Brian, Mina, Chris, Tim, Wendy, Gabby, Christy, Khalif, Jason, Jeff, Kayla, Stephen, James, Isaac, and Dr. Chris Will. Did I miss anybody? That's good news. And I want you all to be encouraged. Because when I leave here and I get on a plane in an hour from now, I'm going to see your face. And I'm going to be encouraged that nothing is impossible with God. Y'all have encouraged me in a way that I really need to be encouraged. The White House Opportunity and Revitalization Council was set up by President Trump in 2018. I serve as the executive director of this council. The council was set up to streamline and to coordinate resources inside of Opportunity Zones or distress vulnerable communities in our country so that public-private partnerships could be created to do things like this. And I have the privilege of stewarding this count and working aside Joe and Elvis and, and Tony and others. And I want you all to know that this is a story that will be told and sounded from the rooftop by me. First to the President of the United States, then to the Vice President, then to Dr. Ben Carson, and to whomever will listen, because we all need to know about Second Chances Farm, because this is what America is about. Yeah. Would you agree? <laughs> this is my first time being in a hydroponics place. And to see what's going on in here is life changing. And my good brother from the FBI and the Green Beret Project, there was a quote on there that said, it's easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. I have a 19-year-old who is going through just a, a hellacious time in his life right now because of bad decisions and bad choices and not doing what he knows he's supposed to do. He's 19. I said, you know what? I don't want to repair him when he's a grown man. Let's do it now. And y'all tell him I'm encouraged by being here. I want the White House Opportunity Revitalization Council is a tremendous opportunity to bring about revitalization and new life to communities. If you're here today and you're thinking about maybe I could be an investor, maybe I could be a volunteer, maybe I could do some, this is what it's all about, it's right here. This is the story that needs to be told. I played in the National Football League. I served in the House of Representatives. I worked with the NFL players. I worked with the NFL. But let me tell you something. This is the place that I wish everyone could see. Am I right, Gary? This is what everyone needs to see because this is a second chance to those who deserve a second chance, third chance, fourth chance in life. Because one thing I will encourage all of you who are returning citizens, don't take this for granted. Take it, do something with it, multiply, reach back to somebody that you see is struggling and say, I've been there like you have. You will not continue to do this anymore and take them by the hand and by their neck and say, look, it's over, game over. Because there's another way in life. We do the same thing with young athletes in communities, with young people in the church. I want to take this model and replicate it in other places in the country. Because G and, and Ms. Patty, what you all are doing here is tremendous. And not only does it deserve recognition, but it deserves to be multiplied throughout our country. So we will be great ambassadors for you and voice pieces for you. Yes, in the federal government, but the government is not the answer. We're just partners to facilitate. This is from grassroots. This is ground up, locally led, locally driven. Private business people, private citizens coming together with the government as a partner. But in the end, it's going to be us taking care of us. 
And this is a great example of us people taking care of people. So God bless y'all. Thank you. I'm just so glad even just to be here. But one thing I can do is I can speak. And I can tell this story. And you have my word that I will. And I look forward to, to working with you. And I encourage anyone looking at this place to be a partner, investor, or what have you. Let's go for it. Okay, God bless you guys.